This is your election command center, TV3. Now, one of the demands that you made, and in fact, the proposals you made for the amendment of the NP constitution is to have the various national coordinators at the, le the local level, yeah, the, the branch level, station. the police stations have voting rights. That has not been done. What is the update on that? Yes, and I understand that the time is not yet now because of, if you look at the party, where we have Zongos, it's not everywhere that we have Zongos in Ghana. So this is some of the excuse. But I was thinking that it's time for us to get a Zongo pooling station executive. Because if you take a constituency like Kwaibiri East, for instance, Kwaibiri East have 36 pooling stations. That is a quite huge number. That I believe that we need to get a Zongo pooling station there. If even not everywhere. Because it is better you have them because if you want to block the NDC of winning some of the Zongo votes, then we need a polling station executive to help and work that. If you look at Medina constituents, Medina, for instance, has only 28 Zongo polling stations. So you see the difference. But meanwhile, people are thinking that Medina is a Zongo constituency. But meanwhile, it's not like that. So this is some of the work that we did after the 2020 election. That is why we brought that proposal. But it's unfortunately, it's unfortunate that that proposal did not find its way to survive. But we are still pushing and believe that that time will come and for us to get the Zongo polling station. As well. The MPP members in the Zongo community, from our own interactions with them, they are not happy because of the, the, the level of expectation and development that they were expecting in the Zongo communities after a ministry was actually created to ensure the development in there. Now, what would you say about that, especially because of the reality they are confronted with about the lack of development in the various Zongo communities? Is that you can't change Zongo within eight years. It's impossible. It's a gradual process. If, and if you look at the work that His Excellency Nanado's government and Dr. Mahmoud Aoumiya did in Zongo, there's no precedent, even from Kwame Nkrumah, that can challenge the Nanado government. What have you done in the Zongos? The fact is there. Factories. We give more scholarship in Zongo. Every year, we take about 40 youths from Zongo community to Cuba to learn medicine. Not none of the government has done this thing before. We build schools, we give scholarships, we did a lot of things in the Zongo community. And Zongo is not only Nima or Mamobi. Look at the uh, 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 AstroTurf pitches that we are building in the Zongo community. We've been doing a lot of things. So talk about Nima, because you mentioned Nima. Yeah. You promised specifically the Nima people. Yeah. The drainage at Nima is one of the promises that you made, that you were going to address the drainage yeah. system there. You also promised that you were going to transform that particular community, promising them infrastructure development and then also improving on their residential, their residential facilities there. You haven't done that. That's, done that's, that's the evidence. We have done it. When is your last time that you passed uh, 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 the Mamobi uh, drainage that you are talking When is the last time did you pass that? No, this was uh, a week ago when it rained. Yeah. The Nima drain. Yeah. It's caving in, Nima, and 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 the the, the, Nima, the one we the have one, never experienced flooding in the, Nima. The one the one that's we close have to Mamobi. Never ex, uh, experienced flooding about Mamobi, Nima. Of course, we have never experienced flooding there in Mamobi. In Mamobi, the the, the, the drainage that is caving in, you don't yeah. know about it. No, 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 no. This this drainage that we are talking about, the drainage has been long. It has been there for so long. No, that's what I'm saying. It is MPP. It is our government who are fixing it. No, but if you're fixing it, yeah. you admit that the drainage is there. Yeah. And the drainage is caving in. And we are fixing it. How are you fixing it if it's caving in? It's not caving in. We have evidence. It's the not, video. You, if you can show me the evidence. I live in Nima. I'm in Nima 24-7. Nima Mamobi, so you can't tell me anything about Nima. You get what I'm saying? And the truth of the matter is, now you can drive through Nima and Mamobi and see the asphalt that the president put there. 
Neymar has developed more than Rawlings' era, more than Mills and Muhammad's era. So are you saying there are no roads with potholes in Neymar? I can't say that there are no roads and, uh, with potholes in Neymar. But, the, but now, as I'm talking to you, the, most of the roads in Neymar has been fixed. Which roads are you talking about? A lot. Where? If you take from the Nima Gota, in Nima, from Nima roundabout to the downside, you can see that that road has been fixed. If you take a Chapter O Street in Nima, you know Chapter O Street, yes. that road has been fixed. So those roads, if you go to Mamobi for instance, 15 Bob has been fixed. All the roads in Mamobi West has been fixed by MPP. One of the promises that you made, especially to the Zongo community, because I stayed there with you, um, and we, we are also located within that particular concerns. We know what goes on there. There are a lot of these KIAs who are in these communities, and you know this. You promised that you were going to build hostels for them. You haven't done that. This where? It's in process. It's going to happen. When? If something is in process, I cannot give you a fixed date because I'm not a Zongo coordinator. You get what I'm saying? I'm the national national coordinator. But you promised 2016. I, not, I, I did not promise you anything. Your government promised. Uh, yes, of course. And you are the national and coordinator. National coordinator. coordinator. going to fix it. When? Uh, very soon, inshallah. How soon? I can't give you a date. It's been six years. The President of the Republic of Ghana? Yes, but I will. MP and Nima has been there for more than 20 years in ND and President Rawlings. That's the reason why they voted for Nima you. has been there. Nima has never voted for us. Nima voted for NDC. So does that mean that you deny them the development that you promised them? We don't deny. That is why we fix all the roads in Nima. That is why we are fixing the village in Nima. That is why we make sure that all the street light has been fixed. Because we are a government that we believe in equal development. You are seeking re-election. You, you are seeking re-election. You are seeking re-election. Yes. Yes. So why should this delegates vote for you? They should vote for me because I'm the incumbent national national coordinator. I've managed to identify the Zongo pooling stations that we are suffering from NDC in the 2020 elections. And we have increased our Zongo vote to 550,000 for Nana, His Excellency Nana Dodan Kwakufado to still be the president. That is why they have to vote for me. Thank you very much. Okay, so that's the... <laughs> Aziz Futa, Aziz Futa is the national coordinator.